Why is my sugar high in the morning? How can I lower my sugar in the morning? It can be very frustrating to check your blood sugar and find it is always high in the morning. You are not alone. A high blood sugar in the morning is quite common in diabetes. It is also one of the earliest changes people with diabetes experience. To understand why blood sugars might be higher in the morning, we first need to review the hormones that regulate blood sugar. The two main hormones involved in blood sugar control are insulin and glucagon. Insulin lowers sugar in the blood by pushing it into the cell so it can be used or stored. Glucagon does the opposite of insulin. It frees sugar from its stored form in the liver so the body can use it while you are sleeping or between meals. Common reasons your blood sugar can be elevated in the morning. The first blood sugar check of the day should be done after fasting. Fasting means having nothing to eat or drink, except water, for at least eight hours before the test. As an example, if you last ate a snack at 10 p.m., your true fasting glucose would not be until 6 a.m. the following morning. Insulin resistance in the liver. Insulin resistance means that the insulin the pancreas produces does not work well anymore even though the pancreas is working overtime to produce more of it. Insulin resistance in the liver and high glucagon levels cause the liver to spill out extra sugar into the bloodstream while you are fasting overnight, directly raising your blood sugar levels. The Dawn Phenomenon Several hours before you wake in the morning, it is normal to have higher levels of cortisol and growth hormone. Both of these hormones help prepare you to wake up and start the day. This hormone surge, called the dawn phenomenon, occurs naturally between 2 a.m. and 8 a.m., whether or not you have diabetes. In patients with diabetes, the dawn phenomenon is more noticeable and leads to high sugars because of both insulin resistance and decreased levels of available insulin. High blood sugar the night before. A high blood sugar in the morning can often be left over from the night before. If the pancreas cannot secrete enough insulin after a large carbohydrate load at dinner or bedtime snack, blood sugars can stay elevated during the night and into the following morning. The Samoji Effect, a low blood sugar overnight. Some medications for diabetes, such as insulin and a group of pills called sulfonylureas, can cause blood sugars to crash while you are sleeping. The Samoji effect occurs when the body responds to dangerously low blood sugar overnight by secreting stress hormones like glucagon and epinephrine. These hormones help rescue you from low blood sugar, causing the sugar to rebound and be high by the morning. How can I lower my blood sugar in the morning? 1. Diet Keep carbohydrate intake low at dinner. Having a bigger lunch, a smaller dinner, and skipping the bedtime snack can often improve your morning blood sugar level. 2. Exercise A safe exercise plan can greatly lower all blood sugar levels by increasing sugar uptake by the muscle lowering the amount of sugar in the blood for many hours after the activity. 3. Drink plenty of water. Sugar always travels with water, so it is important to keep up with the body's need for fresh water to balance the blood sugar. 4. For those patients on anti-diabetic agents, a medication change might be necessary. If you are prescribed metformin, moving the timing of the second dose closer to bedtime might help decrease the amount of sugar released from the liver overnight. If you are on insulin, there might be a problem with the dose being either too high or not enough. In either case, the first step is to find out if your blood sugar is running high or low in the middle of the night. Set an alarm and check your blood sugar before bedtime overnight at approximately 2 a.m. and again when you wake up. 
These values can help your doctor differentiate between the Dawn phenomenon, food-related blood sugar elevations, and the Samoji effect.